Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm out in the backyard today. Um, there's a few things that I'm going to be ripping out today. Not, okay, I say ripping out, taking out. Um, we have some bolted lettuce that needs to be taken out and then the spent lilies that are in the back. I'm gonna be taking those, um, just cutting those to the ground as well. And it is, a very toasty day here in western Washington but it's beautiful and it's the perfect weather to be out in the garden all right so we're over in this bed which is closest to the house and as you can see these lettuces have all bolted Technically, lettuce is still edible when it bolts like this, but it's just very bitter and not very pleasant to eat. So I'm just going to put them in our yard waste bin. Um, and our little zucchini here, he's coming up strong. And then we have, we had one casualty um, with slugs. Um, but we still have one cucumber as well. Um, still nothing on the other hill, but as you can see, it gets a little, it gets dappled shade. Um, so I don't know if, if that seed is going to germinate or not. Then we're over here. I'm just going to cut all these lily, spent lilies down and cut down some some of the spent foxgloves, which I can tell this one here has already gone to seed, so we're gonna have more. So not to worry, but like this guy needs to be taken. He's about ready to start dropping seeds. Um, I'm just kind of cleaning this area up in here. Got some some of the squash is doing okay. I think I'm gonna actually go around and um, feed the squash and the tomatoes today as well. But yeah, there's I, there's some there's some good squash coming, but I've had a hard time having things get pollinated. So I might do some research and see how I can help. But I think also it could be, it needs to be fertilized. They need to be fertilized a little more because I know that they're big feeders. So hopefully that will help.
hello again. It is the next day and I went to the grocery store this morning for a few breakfast items and came back with like four bags of compost and another bag of potting soil. Um, I want to put some more compost on my squash. I'm also going to give them a good feed today and I think I'm going to add a bit more compost to like to the tomatoes and to the beans and everything. Um, and give everything a feed as well, at least the tomatoes. Um, but yeah, you just saw me unload everything from the car. Also, I want to pot up that, the Italian pepper that we bought at Carpinitos last week. And yeah, I, and I definitely need to get that poor lupin in the ground. So today I'm gonna finally take care of that. But let's get started on feeding our squash. Now that is not a bad looking zucchini. Very excited. So I'm really happy because I see bumblebees around here. Some of my squash haven't been getting <laughs> pollinated properly, so it's great to see and I'm hoping that by adding some compost and some fertilizer that they'll grow more flowers. <laughs>
Oh. Okay, little frog. Oh my god. Oh. state of me. <laughs> this is what I normally look like when I garden. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna get this pepper planted. I know, so this is actually an indoor pot. I don't think my dad knew that when he bought them for the outside. But it's got the tray at the bottom, which actually is probably gonna be really good for me because I can just water at the bottom and it'll strengthen the plant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some potting soil in here, but I'm also going to mix in some compost as well that I bought. I think this is the best potting soil that I've ever bought. It is still moist and I've had it for a few months. And it stays in the shed, so it's not like it's getting wet on a regular basis. And, um, and this uh, compost is actually from Carpenito Brothers. They bag it up and they sell it to local groceries and um, hardware stores. So you put a few handfuls in here. This is a really healthy root system. I'm really happy that it, with this plant that I bought at Carpenito too. And it was only $2, which is a steal of a deal. Just loosening it up a little. And I'm gonna fill the rest with more potting soil. And we'll get this watered in really good. And just keep an eye on it, make sure that we're watering from the bottom and just checking the moisture so we don't overwater the pepper. I'm just gonna keep this guy on the patio because it's got some delicious looking peppers on it and I just 
really don't have a lot of room over there, but I think the patio is a perfect spot for it. It gets plenty of sun. So I went through and I put a bunch of compost down in this bed. I'm hoping it'll help some of my basil plants take off a little bit more. And then I added some compost to the some of the um, herbs like these. I didn't to the mint because it looks fine right now. We planted the lupin over here. And exciting news, our other zucchini has germinated, which is exciting. So I put some compost around these guys and our remaining cucumber. I put some, some nice compost on these. And then tonight I'll be watering everything really thoroughly. And then as you saw, we added we fed these guys, added compost, so hopefully they'll perk up. But I've seen a lot of bumblebee action around here today, which is really exciting. So hopefully we'll have some more zucchinis in our future. And then I added some compost and some fertilizer to this. So hopefully it'll support that tomato plant a little more. But yeah. Got got a lot done. I feel accomplished and now we're gonna go float the river <laughs> and cool off for a little while. All right that's gonna be it for me today. If you liked today's video I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you like what I've been posting, if you love the gardening content, we've got the holidays in our future and I love decorating for Halloween and Christmas so I'm really excited to be able to share that type of stuff with you guys coming up so if you don't want to miss that go ahead and hit that subscribe button and yeah I hope that you're having a great day wherever you are and I will see you super soon